<laughs> and talking about uh, NATO, uh, NATO next, uh, next, next four years, and Joe Biden. So one thing that uh, is definitely going to change. Uh, so uh, basically, Joe Biden has uh, said repeatedly. Basically, he looks at uh, Russia very similar to how Baltic states see Russia. During uh, Obama's presidency, uh, Joe Biden, his vice president, he was in uh, well, kind of. Well, yeah, you could say in charge of this kind of Russia uh, direction of U.S. foreign policy. Biden went to Latvia, to Moscow and elsewhere, gave speeches. He gave speech in, in uh, the, the, the National Library uh, mm -hmm. on Russian reset, one of the kind of key speeches. So he tried reset, then he understood this doesn't work. He gave more critical speeches towards Russia. So he knows uh, basically how Russia works, how Putin works. Um, so there's not going to be a Russian reset under uh, Joe Biden as a president. Uh, quite the contrary. He said that we need uh, essentially deter Russia. We need to have more activities in this region taking into account what's happening in Belarus, taking mm -hmm. into account what Russia has been doing over the last um, four years, yeah. because with uh, Trump as a president, uh, so Putin did stuff, interfered in US elections, um, uh, poisoned Navalny, other things. Um, so essentially, in the, kind of the conflict in Eastern Ukraine hasn't stopped. So there's still this low-level frozen conflict in Eastern Ukraine. Um, and Trump was essentially like, well, whatever, you know, you, Russia was involved in an election, I don't really care about it. Uh, so Navalny, uh, it's not an issue for Trump. Uh, so basically Trump gave Russia a kind of kind of carte blanche. So mm -hmm. do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Well, not, not do whatever you want, but you can do things. I'm not going to kind of call you out. I'm not going to kind of kind of kind of kind of react to any of uh, kind of the, these aggressive foreign policy actions. Definitely that's going to stop with uh, Joe Biden. So definitely Russia is not going to be probably, well, unless something happens, uh, Russia is not going to be first priority for him and for, 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 for also for, for NATO, uh, but definitely it's gonna become more important for US uh, administration under Joe Biden. Uh, and, and for NATO, next four years, so definitely Russia, one major, major block uh, of NATO attention. But at the same time, NATO has been talking about this kind of, you know, 30, uh, 60, 360 degree approach to, to, to well, kind of global issues. Mm -hmm. So Arctic with Russia involved, uh, also a big issue for NATO, uh, cyber defense, um, only becoming bigger and bigger issue for, for kind of, the, kind of the, well, this century and the next decades. Uh, Mediterranean for other NATO countries, and that's, that's kind of the, the essence of NATO. It's not just Russia. These all issues are important for all member states. Uh, we can, well, not we, but NATO alliance can work on all of these. It's not just, just kind of this one uh, issue uh, agenda. It's uh, being prepared and being ready for all the... Um, the kind of challenges of the 21st century, and that's that's and NATO has the capabilities, mm -hmm. NATO has the, the money, the resources uh, to, to to deal with all of these things as the most powerful alliance in the history of the world. But um, I mean, the, the, the one of the biggest challenges is how to one what with the leaders of NATO have been talking about is uh, smart defense. We have all these capabilities, we have largest defense budget in the world. If you take not just US but all the NATO member states, it's by far bigger than, than yeah. that of China. And, and if you come in, can't even compare that with Russia. Russia is a small country compared to kind of NATO and military spending. And uh, so yeah, how to make how to use these resources smarter. So so we don't have to essentially waste uh, money on having similar capabilities, how we can pool capabilities, how we can essentially uh, get more for the buck, as, as Americans uh, would, would say it. And that's also this, this very big, 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 uh, well, kind of, kind of, yeah, well, essentially, yeah, challenge and a, a opportunity for NATO in the next <laughs> four years and next decades. But again, this, this, is, this is very vague. Under all these words, there are specific missions, there are specific things NATO is doing. So for example, and this is more United States than, than, than NATO, a uh, big deal for, for uh, Baltic states and Central Eastern Europe is a uh, pre-positioning of U.S. equipment in Baltics and in Poland. Uh, I don't know where and how much, no one knows, uh, but there's a lot of money spent by United States on this. Uh, that's still definitely still going to continue. So U.S. equipment here on the ground, just in case something happens, U.S. doesn't have to transport uh, basically tanks. So you also can see very, very well how these... Um, well, how different issues are securitized uh, in, in kind of international relations. So uh, kind of Russia has gone down on international agenda over the last years. Nothing really has changed. Russia has the same amount of troops uh, in, in, in the border of Baltic states. Uh, so eastern Ukraine uh, is still in kind of Russian hands. The conflict hasn't died, 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 died down. 
but we have more pressing issues. We have COVID, we have essentially kind of chaos, Trump picking fights with NATO and, and so on. And uh, so we yeah, are definitely kind of, kind of this Russian threat because it has died down from, from kind of the attention of media and also within society, NATO is still planning kind of, kind of these contingency strategies, mm -hmm. increasing presence, military planners are on this, uh, that's great. But definitely if you look at kind of, Kind of on like top of the agenda, so Russia definitely lower than it was uh, like in 2014, 2016. Although nothing has really, really changed uh, in kind of this military calculus on the ground in Kaliningrad and, and border of uh, NATO and border of Baltic states.